Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to support the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. You can see David Roden still has it as Hall just bounces straight off of him. What an absolute legend still being involved in the game now. Intercept marks this quarter. McCoy has been fantastic, so it's important to get that ball to ground. Do you think Jack Zebel could be in a bit of trouble for this? It's not exactly studs up, but it's knees up and it does cause some damage. Do you think the AFL will eventually get rid of this? Gives it to Jay-Z. Oh, yeah. He's a tough kid. He's standing up now, walking off. Hopefully it's not a broken nose or a facial... Phillips has gone for a shot at goal and he absolutely shanks the kick but it ends up being an assist. You can actually see him throw his head back in disgust. Are you giving him the benefit of the doubt, Dwayne? Phillips, who wants it back? Oh, he mesmerised them all, the big guy. Did he mean that to Martin? What an assist! Gonna be one of the greatest. Nick Martin was paid a free kick for a trip here. I don't know if you can see the trip, but I definitely couldn't. I guess eventually we'll find out if someone ends up with a fine or not. But this seems like a very soft free kick. I didn't see the trip. I think he just tripped over his own feet. Watching this live and in full speed, it actually does look like this ball comes off Harry Himmelberg's foot, but on the replay you can actually see it does hit the bottom of his foot, or his foot hits it down into the ground. So in the end, this probably shouldn't have been a free kick, but watching it live as the umpires do, they don't have that video recall like we do at home. This should have been paid, and it was. This is unlucky, but fair. Jack Rewalt almost had a fumble to remember as he handballs the ball towards Judson Clark, I think it is, and he completely misses the handball. Luckily for him, there's no defenders in the way, so Jack just gets the ball and he kicks the goal anyway. I expect Roses to be getting a fine for this trip on Wayne Miller. Nothing more but a fine. Miller to Michael Lanny and the switch is on. Murray. You can see Will Powell gets a ball straight to the face thanks to a teammate. These absolutely hurt and he actually went off with the blood rule because it made his nose bleed. Earlier in the game, Will Powell actually had a set shot at goal from, I don't know what it was, 15 metres out in a slight angle after a 50 metre penalty was paid against Rankin and he absolutely shanks the kick. He'll cash in here for the Suns. Riley O'Brien must have been watching some Tommy Hawkins highlights recently as he takes it out of the ruck and kicks a very easy goal. How's that for the start? For big Riley O'Brien. You posted the latest there. O'Brien rips it out of the air and slots it. Blitzars has had a set shot to forget as he completely shanks this kick. tonight and it stays 1-1 and not too long before that Aaron Norton also shanked the kick if you watch Norton he sort of does this little hop step just before he kicks it which I think put him off in the end not sure if he does this normally but this looked very odd to me watching it live Tom Stewart gave away a pretty soft 50 meter penalty after hitting Trelaw a little bit high and Lockie McNeil has a shot right out the front of goal and he shanks the kick somehow Saying they might have got a little lucky, and perhaps justice. Tom, I think. Saying they might have got a little lucky. After the halftime siren has gone, Waterman is going for a shot at goal, and he's clearly going for distance here, and he knows he can't make it, so he gets as close as he can to the defender on the mark. Unfortunately for him, he actually kicks it straight into his defender. It looks like Dugowie is going straight to tribunal, which means at least a three-match suspension here. I expect three or four weeks for this. Following the recent AFL suspension of Tom Stewart on Prestia, I think he will probably get four weeks for this. 
Luke Bruce, one of the best goal kickers for Hawthorne of all time, has absolutely munted this kick. I know the game's well over at this point, but Sam Frost has to do better than this. He has just played on and absolutely shanked this kick straight in front of goal. Back down back, mate. Uh, tough day for the coach, Sam Mitchell. Good user of the ball. On to Frost, who plays on Frosty. I knew Jai Newcomb was strong, but not this strong. He just picks Scott Lysette up like it's absolutely nothing. A bit of Hulk Hogan. Plays on the man from Poo. Do a push up with him on top of you, Jakey! It wouldn't be an oddities video without McKay absolutely shanking a kick at goal here. As the commentators say, he's so far out, I'm not sure why he's going across the body kick. This definitely should have been a drop punt. Very low on confidence at the moment, and I'm not sure why. And in a strange position to do it as well. Not going to get the height on the foot. Do you think Harms will end up with a fine or a suspension for this? I, I haven't actually looked if he will get anything for this, but I think this will most likely be a fine. Because if he wasn't, it's trouble. I mean, I think there's head contact there, was there? Because if he wasn't, it's trouble. I mean, I think there's... Aker's taking this shot as a right footer. This is a very hard kick to do, but he absolutely flushes it. Poor old Bowie has absolutely been knocked out by Jake Lever's knee and then eventually gets landed on. If you've ever been in a situation like this where you've been knocked out and you feel that groggy feeling, it's absolutely horrible. Hopefully he has a speedy recovery and we see him in a couple weeks. And the double, oh, the knee, the double sorry. whammy with Kennedy's Kennedy well. landed on him. Got yeah. a bit of everything, didn't he? That's it, Mark for Wiedering and Bowie's in some strife here. Not sure how this handball from Rivers was allowed. I thought the Bulldog and Melbourne effect came into play here and the umpire would have called a throw, but somehow this was allowed. The AFL players are slowly learning and it looks like Patrick Cripps is borderline here on a fine or a suspension, but I think this is just okay. For the sling tackle, he does sort of drag him down, but I think this one is fine. And finally, congratulations to Luke Bruce, who has kicked 500 goals in his career. What an amazing amount of goals to kick for one team. A three-time premiership player. What an absolute legend. This is more than likely going to be his last season, so well done to him. If you've liked this video and watched all the way, please leave a comment saying, Jakey. Do a push-up, Jakey.